Welcome to the 250,000 special, or one of the specials, of the return of the auction series. First time the ever. The last time. The last, <laughs> time. last time. You're not getting it again. This is the last time. It's the last time. It's also the first time on my channel. <laughs> so That's true. That's first true. and last time we will be doing auction series on my channel. I have the legendary Danny, Luke Von Karma. Hello, hello. Who will be auctioneering for us today. Everyone go subscribe to him. And of course, Simo had to make a return to auction series. I've stolen his series officially. It is now on my channel. <laughs> this video was sponsored by Ruxin34. I have just released my first ever playmat to celebrate 250K. This playmat includes everyone's favorite moth and gives us a glimpse into his story. This story is fan fiction only, so it is not official from Kanan. A young moth crawls rapidly through the woods. He knows that time is running out but he can't miss this moment. At long last, he makes his way out of the underbrush and gets a glimpse into the beautiful night sky. He was just in time. The larger, more experienced moths zoom above him, giving him a few seconds to admire their power and beauty. One day, that will be me, he thought as the last of the larger moths disappeared into the distance. One day, I will be called great. Along with the backstory, these mats come along with a brand new Ruxin 34 logo, which also have a one in 25 chance to be the starlight version. Ooh, ah. And there's a little Easter egg with another channel favorite somewhere on the mat as well. We'll see if you can find it. I think you guys probably can. And yes, the first edition logo on these mats does mean something. These mats will be available on Ruxin34.com and some will be sold on Whatnot as well until the end of October and never again. So get yours now and don't miss the chance to Pequeno on your opponent because I will never be reprinting these mats. And if you only like your play mats where they have the zones on them so you can see where you're placing all your cards, don't worry, both options will be available on Ruxin34.com as well. Thanks to everyone for checking these out. I love the design. Shout out to Cross Hearts. And I hope you guys love it as well. Now back to the video. Today, the only difference we have between a classic auction series episode is we have $250,000 to spend to celebrate 250,000 subscribers and we don't know what auction items we will be bidding on, though technically some of these items we have done before in a special never before seen birthday episode <laughs> for Danny that got like deleted or something. And now we've forgotten all the items. So we're basically getting a redo. You're welcome, thank Danny. You, thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday, oh, by the way. You're a little late, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, fellas. Welcome to the auction. Uh, I am your auctioneer. And I guess, uh, do you want to get started? And I can show you the first item. Look, it's your do birthday, it. man. You do whatever you want. So as the first item to start off with, I think you both will remember this from the, the void lost episode that will never see the light of day is 12 McDonald's promo pack ones from two from uh, actually, I won't say the date. I'll just say 12 McDonald's promo pack one. Oh, great. Uh, Fantastic. One of one of Phil's <laughs> favorites. Phil, the Millennium Shield's in here. You can get that. Um, I am very excited about this. One of the best cards ever comes in here, the Millennium Shield. So, I mean, honestly, this is a really great item. I mean, I'm excited ah. to win this because this is could really buff my deck up. I mean, trying to get trying to get over a Millennium Shield, I mean, that's kind of impossible. So well, then you can start <laughs> the bidding. Um, I was going to let you go because you're the guest. So, oh, you're so kind. Yeah, you you're go so ahead. Kind. I'm gonna, I'm going to put a nice thousand Kai bucks up on the okay. board for this. 1000. That's like, I mean, that's like not that, even 1% of our of money. money now because we have 250,000. <laughs> I mean, that's nothing well, for you have us. to go in increments of a thousand if you recall. Yeah, we have to go in increments of a thousand. But for us, that's almost nothing. I mean, that's that's cheap. But honestly, like, I mean, this is really tempting, but I think I'm going to I think I'm going to have to. Uh, I look, I would pass it to you, but it's the Millennium Shield. I you have to take, take it, it for two thousand dollars. You got to take it. You go, okay, if you want it, then oh you're gonna God. have to pay for it. Three thousand. You're upbidding the Millennium Shield. <laughs> okay, look, that's over one percent of my money. I love Millennium Shield, but I think that's all I'm gonna spend on it. You go ahead. And take it. <laughs> yes, we won. We caught the Millennium look, Shield I, from it. I couldn't let you have it for a thousand. I had to respect my favorite card. But. If you lose because of the Millennium Shield when we do this, I I cannot wait to see. If you play face, a burn deck with Millennium Shield in defense mode, I'm not gonna be happy. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Alrighty, we got Simo with the McDonald's promo packs, twelve of them, um, and now I have 47k. <laughs> Incredible item. So, I hope the other items are a little better. They, they'll, they'll the, listen, these are all personal favorites. Um, <laughs> second item, Stardust Dragon Tin and the Red Dragon Archfiend Tin. These were both very personal favorites of mine growing up as a kid. Ooh. So that's why they're here. How are you feeling about these, Ruxin? 
Uh, Stardust Dragon, Red Dragon, Arts Fiend. Not a lot of packs here, but you do get promos. We so do get the promos that matters. That definitely matters. So you get guaranteed cards, which is something that, you know, I mean, I guess technically every pack's going to have cards in it, but guaranteed good cards, potentially. The Red Dragon Arch Fiend tandem, I think it just has the Red Dragon Arch Fiend in those. Yeah, so you're looking at two promos and a bunch of packs. So these are pretty decent. Because you won, you get to go first, right? Is that's that right. This? I forgot. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll start us off with a handsome 10K. Yeah, okay. That's, 10K that dude. seems reasonable. I mean, I will definitely do... You know what? I'm not even going to up it by a little bit. I'm going to up it to 12K. Okay. Ooh, I'll up it even more. Let's go to 15. Ooh. 15K, going for the 15, Stardust 15, Dragon 10. Hmm. 15,000. A lot of, a lot of luck involved in these. You know, not a lot of packs. So there is a couple guaranteed, but not a lot of packs. You know what? 20k is fine. Let's go. We have 250k to work with. Money. We have a lot of money. No, you have 247k to work with, actually. <laughs> 25. <laughs> you know, 26k is fine with me. How about 27? Ooh, oh, oh, man. We're getting into expensive territory. 27, 27. Can I do 27.1? Oh. No, I'm just kidding. 28k. <laughs> I'm going to do 28. 29, 29. Uh, how about an even 30? Even 30. The funny thing is, this is just barely over 10% of what we have. Like, by it, normal that, auction standards, like this would be crazy. k is, we, we kind of had it figured out, like, what we wanted to spend. Even though it's been a long time, like, we kind of knew what felt like a lot and what didn't. Now it's kind of like, you got to kind of figure out what feels like a lot. Yeah, I agree. Because 30k agree. out of 100 was nuts. Uh... I'm gonna spend that much on 10 packs? You're spending that much on 10 packs, apparently. No, I'm not. You're about to unbid it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> 31. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We're on the, okay, only on item two. Don't need to get carried away. I'll do 32k though. 33. Wow, Rux and 34k? I think that's the magic number. I gotta do it. I mean, $250,000, 30. Oh 35. my goodness. Oh my god. Stardust Dragon, you really want that thing, don't you? You do too, apparently. You keep bidding. Look, I'm past 34K, which is my number, so I'm thinking about it. I, uh, 36 is a lot. 36 is a lot. There's still eight items left. I won't have anything. You'll have the McDonald's pack and this? <laughs> That's a lot. You wait. I'm going to synchro summon that Millennium Shield with a, a Psychic Commander to make that Stardust, and you're going to be crying. <laughs> is it Millennium Shield like an eight? It's a five. <laughs> is it only a five? doesn't even know the level of his favorite card. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That was. No, you're right. It, it is only one tribute. Yeah, it's not an eight. He just knows right. the image. 3K yeah. defense? I mean, come on. That should that should be higher than a five. I mean, let's be honest there. You know what? You can have these. You can have these. 35K. Good, good, good. good Go good, ahead. Good. Enjoy right, your Stardust. Over. Game over. Game over. I'm not worried about we Stardust. Win. I'm going to wow. banish him. All right. You're down. You're, you're looking a little, little poor over there with your 212. <laughs> I mean, I've got a deck and you don't as it currently stands. <laughs> I've got so. no cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so keeping up with with the tradition of tins, these were two other tins that I loved just as much as the previous ones. We've got Power Tool Dragon Tin and the Ancient Fairy Dragon Tin. I bought the Ancient Fairy okay. Dragon Tin okay. a while back, and I loved it a lot. Okay. Yeah, that's a sick tin. I'll start it off at 10K like we did with the other one. All right, I'll just get it over with. Let's get the 30K. <laughs> You you can you can have for thirty k. Oh my god! Give it to me, baby. <laughs> my first item. That's a win, in my book. You can no, have no, them. you're gonna be you're gonna regret this. But I'm power tool dragon equipping my mage power. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> that would be Stardust Dragon. So you got me there. All right, Rux is down to two hundred twenty thousand. Simo now at so two hundred and twelve thousand dollars. You guys still have a lot of money to work with, and we're already three, three products we in. Do. A lot of money. Next one, we've got fourteen packs of an amazing pack, Hidden Arsenal One. Oh, uh, why fourteen? That's such a <laughs> I think I, I think it might have been. I think if you bought two of like the things you get at like Target. <laughs> you would get, or two or three of them. You'd oh, get 14. is that why? I think that's okay. why I picked it. Listen, okay. I don't remember why I wrote it. It wasn't three because uh, that I would the be packs give you five, a lot five of and four. <laughs> I didn't want to put like twenty four of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you said hidden arsenal. Yeah, the, oh, I get to go arsenal. first. You do get to go first. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, that's One a good start. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, 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 we need to put this put this on there. Uh, I guess I'll go two. You guess you'll go two? Well, that's a tough call. Do I want to give you more cheap packs? You already have. <laughs> I've already done it a couple times. I'll do three. I'll go to four. Oh my okay. gosh. We have all this money and we're we're <laughs> at the bottom of what we could actually fit. So this is frugal. hilarious. We're so uh, conservative. All right, five K is fine. I guess I'll go six. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just let it go, Ruxin. You don't need them. That's true. That's a good point. I do need cards, though, so I'll do seven. You have enough from your tins. It's fine. Yeah, I'm, I can make a deck now. Yeah, that's good. I'll go eight. Going to get to double digits or nine? I'll do nine. Uh, ooh. Okay. going to pay ten? I mean, to keep more cards from you, sure, I'll go ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like my God. Some of this is just boxing out. <laughs> like the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, spite, it's just spite bidding. Yeah. Exactly. He doesn't even want these. <laughs> he, he, you apparently do because you keep going for it. I'll go twelve. Sure, why not? Uh, I'll do thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, my goodness. You're acting like you were thinking about three K. Fifteen. What are you at? You're at 220. I'll be at 195. You'll actually be lower than me. You can have these for 50. Yay! That's fine. I don't not really excited, but a new product. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a chance that could go well for you, but I don't think I'm going to worry. It's not. No, worth it's going to go well. Believe me, I'm going to pull all the good cards, which is what? Two of them or something. There's one. <laughs> yeah, one, one good card. <laughs> We're already four items in. Oh my gosh. You gotta start spending money. <laughs> to be fair, we're almost at 50K each. So like, we're kind of like where we'd be for like the 100K yeah, that's stuff true. anyway. So the next bids are gonna get very crazy, I imagine. It's gonna get nuts. All right, let me one second. Let me make sure I got the right packs here. Let's make sure that these are, you know, let's just hope that these are not like horrible sets. So far, we haven't exactly had some great stuff on here. <laughs> That's why you and I Danny's are Danny's birthday out. must have been sad what or something. The, oh, these products suck. <laughs> <laughs> some of the best tins ever. Come on. Okay, the tins are dope. Tins are dope. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay, okay. There's not a lot of packs in there. Uh, next up, we have 24 packs of Crossroads of Chaos. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, nothing guaranteed here. Nope, but it's packs. It's a lot of packs, too. All right, 24 packs. It's a booster box. I have to bid and first. Let you me just get to bid first. Yep. Uh, you know, let's just get up there. 15K. That's probably Start. fair. Well, we'll start doing some big numbers. We'll go 20. 20. Look, we have all this money left. We got to spend it at some point. All right. At some point. This is the fifth item, so, I mean, we're going to have to. 24K, 1K per pack. 25. Ooh. All right, you're getting a little expensive there, man. <laughs> Over 1K per pack? You know, I mean, you got, I mean, you got McDonald's pack. You got those for like, what? Pennies. 3K for 12 packs? I got them for pennies. <laughs> oh <laughs> my gosh. You got, you're getting crazy, man. Okay. Well, I'll do, I'll do 26K. I think the sad thing is I'd rather have the McDonald's packs than the Hidden Arsenal <laughs> one packs. 27K. You're, you're going to regret know, saying you get, that. I'm just letting pack, you know. That pack has got a lot of stuff. So. You're going to regret that. All right. 27K. <sighs> Uh, Black Rose, Black Rose Ghost. I'm feeling it. It's in the pack opener. You know you're gonna pull a ghost rare. You can keep dreaming. Twenty nine. <laughs> keep dreaming. Keep you have dreaming, a lot of bro. money. Thirty k. Thirty one. Thirty one. Thirty four k. Rucks and thirty four. Are you gonna go thirty five? Oh, I could be the new record. This is a lot. You could be. You could be. Okay. Are you willing to pay <sighs> one and a half thousand per pack of Crossroads of Chaos? There's some really nice cards in here. There's some really nice. I mean, Plague Spreader is great. Obviously, the Black Rose is really good. The thing is, I'm trying to think. Oh, wait. <laughs> is it goes in match in here? <laughs> we should, that should be banned right now. Um, okay. 36K. 37. Wait, we've done how many items? Four? This is the, this fifth, is the fifth item. This is the fifth item. So we have six left, five after this. So we're getting up to where, okay, we're getting up to, I'm going to make you go over 40 if you want these. Whoa! Just skipped straight to 40. Let's just get to it, man. Uh, you going to do 41? That's a lot of money. That's a that's lot of money. Lot. We're getting that's over like, budget. That's like a fifth of what we have left. Uh-huh. Jeez, I guess we still have money to work with. I'll go 41. Oh, my God. Ugh. Come on, Phil. Come on. You got to play. You got to play. Oh, the, the thing about these is there's so much randomness involved. If you don't pull the right cards, like like Plague Spreaders and Ultra and an Ulti, 
Black Roses Ultra, Ulti, Ghost. So you do have three chances, but they're all pretty high rarity. Except Ghost and Mattress is a common, so you're definitely going to get some of those, which is annoying. Um, what? $41,000 is a lot of money. Do I want to risk it for random packs? I can't. I wish I could remember what else we had in this birthday episode. That would help. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the first really tough one because you can really high roll on some really good stuff here, or you could get unlucky and get nothing. I already let you have Stardust for for from the ten. You got Stardust. Black Rose is good, but it's like it's not as good as Stardust. Probably should have bid more on the Stardust in. Um, I'll do forty two. I'll do forty two. Forty three. Dude, you are insane. Okay, look. You're insane. You keep bidding. 44, and you're not going 45. It keeps going. You're not oh taking my. these. Well, if I'm not taking these, bid all your money. Go all in. I think I'm done at 45. I think I'm out. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Don't pull Plague Spreader or Black Rose. And not a lot of play goes in match, all right? I'm just throwing that out there. Yeah, oh, this isn't your other series, Phil. Game, game, fair game. Fair yeah. game. Do I get them? Do yeah, I get them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have them. Thank God. All right. Don't feel good about it. What card did I forget that's in there? That's really good. Don't worry about it. You'll find out when you lose. <laughs> it's just to tell me, so I have an advantage later. <laughs> wow, this was all just Crossroads of Chaos, huh? All right. Yep. Yeah. See, look, we still have so much money. A lot of money. <laughs> I don't even feel bad about that. I only have 38K more than you. It doesn't feel like... I feel like I should have more. <laughs> now the good items start. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. better hope what so. What if I just, I just, now it's like, you know, you get like a promo pack from a video game. Like that's, that's the next item. I feel like that, that was always the thing that, that was the worst about auction series. You never knew. <laughs> oh uh, no, next please is no 10 turbo pack booster number four and 12 packs of duelist pack. You say, you say Fudo. <sighs> I hate when you. Put them like together like this. So <laughs> too much annoying. thinking. It is too much thinking. It was All right. 10 well, I guess I'll turbo start out at 10k. 10 turbo four and what was it? 12. You yes, say 12 duelist pack. You, you say is it? Does you say have more than one or is it just you say has uh, multiple? Is it multiple? Is it you say one? Is the first one duelist pack? You say number. Okay, one. the first one that came out. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. You're at 10k. Start us off. This is 22 packs, so it's not bad. All right. I'll do. I'll do I'll do eleven on this. Well, it's twenty two packs, but remember, yeah. you know, turbo packs has are three. like half packs. You say has and then five. the you say packs yeah, are so also really like kind of a combined one pack. You know? <laughs> Fifteen. Dang, I thought you didn't want the thought they there weren't enough cards in here for you. <laughs> there aren't a lot of cards in here. That's the problem. I'll do sixteen. It's not. Well then yeah. just let me have them then if there's not that many you cards. You got in enough here. cards, man. Seventeen. You just got twenty four crossroads of chaos. Remember, you have two hundred thousand dollars, <laughs> dude. These, I'm just these, reminding you of the money. We're Look, just holding out. We're these, just holding out. These combined with hidden arsenal, you better watch out. You better not let me get these. That's all I'm saying. Nineteen, dude. Stop spending all your money, man. You gotta save some for later. Oh yeah, we have a bonus pack though. If we don't spend our money, right? No. <laughs> oh, I guess I can give you a bonus don't. pack. Yeah, whatever. Thought we normally did that at the end. <laughs> okay, well we do. Well, I, that'd be nice to know, you know, beforehand. This is the most botched okay, to be episode. Fair, you guys never knew done. the bonus packs until the end. Right, yeah, right. But was it like four K equals one pack or something? It was something like, four, like every that. four thousand yeah. left was like a bo bonus pack. Okay, okay. That's all I, I needed to so. remember. Okay, twenty K. Twenty one. Dude, <laughs> dude, you're just a money spender. I'll do twenty two. Yeah, it says you, 23. You know what? I'm done with this. 25. Oh I just upped the bid. 26. 30K. Oh, my Whoa. God. Whoa. I want my money. <laughs> Apparently, you don't want your money. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get my uh, money back on these. I'll, I'll resell them when we're done with the episode. Again, as a reminder, 31. Alex is at 167,000, and Ruxin is at 205,000. I have 205,000, dude. 32. 33. Wait, wait, you're up 38 on me? That's what you're trying to get me to is 38K. Well, how about this? 37K. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you got to outbid that? Uh, There's four more after this, right? Ooh. 
Ooh, you're yeah, gonna this be, is you're item six. Feeling it this a little is bit. Item six. Hmm. Dang, you're not gonna have any money after this one. Say it, same goes for you. <laughs> We're gonna be tied. I'm gonna have all the money. You're gonna have all the cards. It's gonna be great. Yeah, great episode. Um, still four items left. <laughs> I let you have one, this including while, like, DDS even... promo. CRU. <laughs> 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 If I let you have this, we're on like even footing. Sounds like good content. I will let you have this. Okay, all right. Okay. This is gonna be sick. You say, baby. I, I'm I'm actually kind of surprised you went this high on this. So that's, that's look turbo pack me. reprints. The um, they're usually pretty decent. I'll I'll take that. They're not the worst, but you have to get them. So all right, look, it can't be worse than hitting Arsenal one. So. <laughs> that's true that that's puts true. you both in range of each other only by 1,000 Alex still at $167,000 and Ruxin at $168,000 or Kaiba bucks next pack or item is the 24 packs of raging battle we're synchro summoning boys oh. yes to go with my 10 you start us off 24 buddy. packs of off. rgbt okay i will do 10k on these let's stop messing around 20 um okay 25k 30 dude Wow. Raging battle, man. That's expensive. You should want these power tools on the yeah. cover of this. Pack. I know you should it's want lit. These. All right, stop messing around. Thirty-five k. Wow, he didn't even go to his signature thirty-four. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm skipping it. There's only three it. items left after this. There is only three left. Only three items. Uh, we got a lot of money, Alex. Forty. Forty. All we right. got money. Let's spend it. We got. We got money. Spend 45. it. Forty-five. Whoa! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Give them to me. He Ooh. really wants them. Give oh, them to man. me. Five oh. zero. <laughs> You're insane. You can have 117 K left. I'm hearing 50 K. But there's only three if, items after this. If you let me have them, if you let me have them. I'm hearing 50 K. There's only three items left. There's only three items left. Think how great they could or be. Bad. You, should just, you should just let me have them. <laughs> You're not supposed what? to say that, Dan. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we spent like no money this whole time. Um, fifty-one <laughs> k, fifty-two. Oh my god! Uh, the, have either of you played Monopoly? This feels like when you land on like a really good property. <laughs> yep. Oh uh, yes, uh, good old Monopoly. Alex, would you like to trade me for Boardwalk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm good. I'm happy with my oh, stuff compared oh, oh, okay. to yours. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, well, in that case, I'll just have to buy oh Boardwalk. 53K. Whoa! Monopoly my man God. over here. Give it to me. 54. This is a lot what of packs. You're, you're looking a bit light on cards <laughs> over there, Phil. That's all I'm saying. If I get these, you're going to be in trouble. Light on cards? I'm, I'm good. I've got Hidden Arsenal 1. <laughs> I don't even know if you have enough to build a deck right now. Wait, do you have Hidden <laughs> Arsenal okay, 1? Here I, we thought, go. I thought Alex won it. Oh. No, he has hit oh, oh, Arsenal oh. one. Okay, Fifty six. Oh yeah, I got hit in Arsenal one, baby. Um, it's a lot of money, man. All right, I'm gonna make you yeah, pay sixty k, fifty nine k. Oh my god. Give them to me. Pow power I tool have, dragon. I've already got one copy. I still have a hundred thousand dollars left. I have to go for sixty. Oh to. my god, he's doing it. Sixty uh, one. Rooks and here. Sixty one. If I. Oh my god. Yeah, come on, Phil. Let's play. Come on. 61K. Yeah, he's, he's going, going for it. it. 62. Oh, my golly. <laughs> oh, there's still three more items after this. There's still three more items. You know, think about the money you could save if you just just you let me the have these. Clenched. <laughs> the next three are going to all be like three video game promos. And I you're know, still not going to have I'm a playable of. deck. 63K. Oh, he's, he's going over. for it. 64,000. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so much money. It could turn around. How many items do I even have? Three items? Next items? We will have three. Bad ones. We will have three. Okay. Be worth it. We have more packs. 65 could be the number. That's where we win this sucker. 65. No way. Am I hearing 65? Am I hearing higher than 64? Are we going to 65? 65. Anybody 65? Oh, he's thinking long and hard. 
He's no, he's thinking, thinking hard think. about this. I got to I got to think about this stinking. one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe these are worth this much money. Um <laughs> 65. Let's go baby. Yeah, he's, he's going, going for it. it. Oh my God. Crazy. We want it. Let me no, have onus it. Onus is back Let on me. Let me have it. Onus is back on me. I really just like don't want you to have them <laughs> because it's so funny that you have like no cards. And I'm really hoping the last ones are just all awful. That would be like the best case scenario. 66,000. Oh this is messed up, man. You don't need all these cards. <laughs> you don't need this. You're like the bully you on the playground. You're beating me up and taking my deck. On his 250th birthday. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. <laughs> My 2.5 year old birthday. Um, Just go to 67 yeah. then. Yeah, 67. 67. Am I hearing 67? What are you worried about? Dude, yeah, 67 is easy. Just give them to oh me. 67. <laughs> oh, he did it. it. You're not paying 68, so I know I'm getting them. Oh, man. <sighs> Let's go, Raging Battle. Uh... Join my crew. The One Piece will be this found. Would put <laughs> at a one hundred and one thousand dollars. Simo doesn't want to go under a hundred. He's not doing this. Uh, the big moment. This is where it all turns 68, around for me. Sixty-eight oh thousand. God. <laughs> what is going on? You're insane. insane. Three items left. You bet sixty. You're still considering it. Insane. You're still considering. You didn't just let me have it. You didn't just let me have it. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go for the playground defense. Now, are you going to go under 100? That's the question. Yes, I am. 69. Oh, oh! Big, Big number. number. I got to let me win on 69. Oh my god. You're not doing 70 on Raging Battle. <laughs> You're already basically <laughs> there. <laughs> but I'm not this there. Is like, yet. like, oh, I'll buy it. It's $99.99. <laughs> 70,000 wow. for raging <laughs> battle. What is the most we went to before this? 38? I well to, well to be fair, I oh you mean like in this episode? Yeah, yeah something like 40 like that. or something. I don't even know. Wow, this is Oh my gosh. Yeah, the I think the highest bid this... so far in this episode has has been $44,000. He's still He's considering still it. Thinking... He didn't just let me have it. You're not going over 75,000. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going over that. <laughs> he just jumped it by five. He's so desperate he for cards. Car. 76. <laughs> We're sending no. it. Make it stop. <laughs> oh, the pain and suffering is real. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. you got to be kidding me. Oh We're my. almost at three thousand per pack. I'm watching for someone dude, get this is nuts. through auction. <laughs> this is happening live. People do something about this. <laughs> All right, wait. We're at seventy six thousand. Oh, yeah. Welcome, Welcome to the auction. Oh. Glad you're here. Seventy six thousand. Big money moves 000. now. Just think, Phil, you're not going to get these, and then the last three items are going to be terrible. It's going to be McDonald's packs, two, you three, and four. You are not spending 80000 oh, You're oh not doing God. that. <laughs> you're not spending 80000 There's no <laughs> way. You're crazy, but you're not this crazy. <laughs> no. No way. You're thinking about it. <laughs> 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 he needs the cards. That's the best part. <laughs> he doesn't have cards. <laughs> I think it'd be really <laughs> if there's a DDS promo next, I'm going to cry. <laughs> Danny knows. Does too. that mean I win? Does that mean I win? I can't even see that. Oh, he's still thinking. Oh, please. 80,000. This is evil. Yes, you win. You can have them. Hey, yes, we got him. Thousand dollars to Alex Shibo. <laughs> Too rich for my blood. I can't do it. The most expensive <laughs> raging battle packs of oh all my time. God. One of the most expensive. <laughs> oh, making this a two hundred fifty thousand dollar budget was definitely a good choice. Oh my god! <laughs> all right. Now I have no cards. Great. Wow. No cards. Have fun with your DDS promos, <laughs> oh, buddy. No. Have fun. Okay. Uh, oh, One sixty-seven. No. Now down eighty. Thousand dollars should be eighty-seven dollars, eighty-seven thousand dollars, dude. Left. 
Uh, you still have some bidding power. I've got uh, some money. I've got uh, some money. Right, let me yep. see here. All right. The next item. Remember, we still have three items left. The next item is uh, we're going <sighs> back to Hidden Arsenal, baby. We've got, but this one's no! interesting. One. We've got three Hidden Arsenal <laughs> Chapter 1. One of the maybe oh. worst sets ever released. And one Game yeah. Boy Advance Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Pack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Pack? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. How many? Oh, three yes. Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1. A Yu-Gi-Oh! Double Pack? What the? What is that? Oh, I guess I won't say like I, I'll say like yeah. Don't tell, don't no, tell not, what, not it what it is. is I know what this the, is. Uh, packs that yeah. come with it because it's like a weird item. It's a no, no. Don't oh, tell him. Don't okay. tell him. He has to remember. Oh, do you know what this is? You don't know Hidden Arsenal Chapter One? No, 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 no. I know that. I thought you oh. meant the double pack. Oh no, yeah. I I think I know what that is. Oh, okay, got it. Um. Okay, then I won't say anything. Don't tell 1, him. One thousand. He's got to spend all his money. <laughs> What if I went straight to 80k right now? <laughs> you could. Okay. You need cards, so. Oh, dude, you imagine if, if Three. Alex gets this one too, and you only get two other items. And I just have to live with what yeah. happens. This 4k. Stop messing around, man. I don't know. 87,000. Bid 87. You won't. You won't bid 87. We have two items yes, left, two right? Two items left. Okay. Uh. Phil can have this. Wow. Oh gosh. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. The double pack. I have pack. to play the I have to play the okay. math game here. So I think that's why okay. I have to let him have it. Double Gotta pack. Kind of choke him out at the end. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Well, the problem is if I go higher and then if he lets me have it, he can guarantee the last two. That's yeah. True. So you should have gone higher, man. He's already in the hidden arsenal camp of bad cards anyway. Yeah. So he can <laughs> that's fine. I'm feeling good that's about fine. this one. <laughs> okay. Next item this is the second to last item we've got second to last item three boxes equal to nine mini back <clears throat> nine mini packs of premium gold and two boxes of gold series 2009 so that's the first premium gold and the Gold Series 2009 boxes. Now, there's a lot of good cards. A lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh cards on the table. Three bo Bill? three and two? Did you say five total? Yeah, so three boxes of the nine mini packs of premium gold, and then two boxes of Gold Series 2009. I'll add that to my little edit as well. And that's when it has the giant thick pack, yes. right? Yeah. Like huge amounts of cards okay. in those packs. Yeah, yeah, like the 25 card packs. Yeah, yeah. I kind of oh. miss those. Those were fun. Okay, well... Um, I'll do 20. That's big starting point. Mm. A lot of money. Big starting point. Start off hot. Uh, 2009. And then the other one is, you said the first premium yes. gold? Premium gold. Mm. Interesting. Golden. Do you want to be golden or not? I mean, this is like a weird situation. I feel like no matter what, I mean, Phil can bid me all the way up, basically, because I can't let him have it here. Otherwise, he guarantees himself the last item. So I kind of feel like but I'm in a you, situation there are where bonus I have to packs. Go. Keep that in mind. There are bonus packs. We don't know what they are. I do feel like if I want this, I have to go all in for it and then basically make Phil pay if he wants it. Hmm. Okay. Trying to recall. <laughs> these sets. I have like some memory of these sets because I've done like a few series with them, but it's just been so long and there's so many sets that they just kind of all like <laughs> they just like all conflate together and they all seem a lot like of gold series to it's a lot of gold series. Yeah, they love their gold. They love their gold. Is that going to be better than whatever is going to be at the end? Well, I mean, I just have to let basically. Well, I guess like that's mm -hmm. the thing, right? If Phil gets the bonus packs, although I think we do adjust the price of the bonus packs because we have more money. I don't know, because if we were doing like four thousand for a bonus pack before, shouldn't it be like eight thousand for this uh, one? But I guess you I just get know. double the packs. Yeah, I, I guess you get double the that. packs. So maybe mean, that's a trade-off. Four thousand was the price. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, it would be two point five times. So it'd be ten k per pack. 
Maybe 10 per pack. I think yeah. that's more fair. Otherwise, you're getting yeah. like 4 billion <laughs> yeah. packs. Yeah. Yeah. It's not my fault. I was frugal. I saved my money. I guess that's fair. You could have done I guess that. that's fair. <laughs> hmm. Well, we have inflation to account for. You know, that's times true. are tough now. That's, that's true. true. Back in the early days of 2021, we could have afforded that that's more true. easily. I know premium gold. Not premium gold. I think I might remember. Maybe I just put the fate in Phil's hands and just let him decide. The problem is, though, if I go all in on this, then he can just... <laughs> he'll get, like, a ton of bonus packs, which is, like, fine. I can't... Like, auction series, I'm never going to completely strong arm him into yeah. not having packs. But he won't know what the packs are. So to be fair, I guess that's, like, slightly better. But do I think your last item is going to be better than this i actually really like the way this has gone for me so far it's like 200 packs of something or something you have a lot <laughs> of stuff i think i do want this so i will leave it to phil if he wants Ooh. it oh you had to go up there huh <laughs> i mean i don't really have much there. of a wow. choice to you be honest <laughs> you could just let me have it for 20. no <laughs> you I, you said you didn't have a choice you had a choice is not a good one <laughs> okay do i want these and i yes i do i'll take them okay yep, I figured. Wow. Yeah, i'll take those hopefully we get i think that's bolts. considering his cards, position but a lot considering of his stuff. position i think he's yeah, almost forced to take true. this i think this is like the best it's thing really he's gotten good. so well, far. Yeah, really these good. are like my best cards already so i think so i, I think there's a chance those cards in there could carry him too All i right, think there's well, a shot yeah there's some the good stuff in there still needs to be bid so let me calculate everything here well, um, safe to say, I think the last item is not a dud, but it has to include one of my favorite cards. We've got 2004 collectible tin, obnoxious Celtic guard. <laughs> <laughs> At first, when you said 2000, I'm like, there's no way it's 2000. Did you just say obnoxious Celtic guardian tin? Yes. Thank goodness I I'm just about, took I'm those. <laughs> 2006. Oh, okay, 2006 okay. Collectible tin, cyber dragon. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, at least. Wait, there's three more? boxes <gasps> of gold series three. Are you, Give me it. Are you kidding me, me right now? Give me it all! Give me it all! Give me it all! Give me it all! Give me Give me it all! Give me it all! Give me it all! Wow, what a masterful game. <laughs> Enjoy your seven pity packs. Enjoy your seven pity packs. Eight. No, seven. Yeah, you're right. So I'll take an extra one, though, if you want to give me one. Do you have extra money? I'm good. Up. <laughs> okay, okay. Dad, got it. Um, all right. So Alex at zero and Ruxin outbid, but still has $76,000 remaining. Um, let me take a look at what the bonus pack will be. Oh, oh, big reveal. This could be, um, be all worth it. I was going to say, this could be really bad, potentially. The bonus is pack that? is Legendary Collection 5Ds. Wait, let me make sure how this set is. That better be that better be right. Don't yeah, change yeah, that. Yeah. Legendary, no. Legendary Collection 5Ds Mega Pack. Yes. That's seven so seven good. Of those That's packs. so good. Yes. It was all worth oh it. Oh my god. That changes That's everything. Like maybe the best thing in this entire it's not too list. Bad, bro. It's seven oh packs. It's god. just seven. Not too not a thumb. Synchro. It doesn't matter. It's legendary collection. It's crazy. Uh, you know, it's, it's all right. There's the, a the cyber lot dragons of cards are common in there. In there. A lot of cards. <laughs> so it's a huge set. Doesn't matter. They're mm. all good. They're I so good. Yes. Set. Yes. Oh my god. It's a, it's a, it's okay. It's okay. It's I, right. I I'll would, take I seven would of those. I'm not mad as a kind of bonus pack. If I didn't think it'd be like, you know, a, a, a fair, a fair fighting chance. I don't think it's super broken. Fair. Well, that's good because otherwise, I mean, I would be destroying you with my hidden arsenal are pack. Stronger cards. Fair. Fair. It, for my strategy, I would have really liked yes, those. But that's okay. I think that's true. That's but I tried to not. It's give a, you. it's it's fine. <laughs> I mean, look, look, it's okay. I allowed you to get all the items, so you have a chance. Okay. <laughs> All right, Phil, you ready to crack some packs? <laughs> yeah. Good luck, boys. All right, it is pack opening time, but first, because of Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1 having random promos, we have a wheel to determine what three promos we're going to get. So let's start off with that. We really want to get the Formula Synchron. Armory Arm, that wouldn't be too bad, but Formula Synchron would be great to get one of those. Pile Armed Dragon. I have no idea what that is, but we got one of them. So Pile Armed Dragon, okay. One of those. I'm just going to put a little number next to it just so I can remember later. 
Arm Dragon, the Armor Dragon. No, not the not the repetitive name. Okay, so we're getting all crappy ones so far. One last chance. Give us, please. Come on, Formula Synchron. Please. Come on. Power Tool. We have two of those now. <laughs> okay, two Power Tool. Ah, uh, promo's not great, unfortunately. I wish I could have picked those, but that's what we got. Now let's go to the pack opener and open our packs, which we have a bunch of packs to open today. You get to select the product to open. Guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just let's just start with the uh, hidden arsenal. It's probably the worst. Okay, first opening we have a. Oh wait, why is Mistworm down here? Okay, that's like all of my cards. Okay, I see Mistworm. I've never used this specific pack opener before. Mistworm is a good card. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull off a 9 Synchro, but if we can, I mean, it's pretty strong. I'm going to have to look into the X Sabres as we go. Let's go to the next one. Oh, Brianak. All right, that's like the best card in the set. Uh, that is a 6, so we just need a tuner at some point to be able to make this happen. That's actually a really good pull. Hopefully we can pull another one of those. Flamvel. I like how some of them are holographic. I oh, know they all are. Never mind. Wait, why is he hollowing when the others aren't? That's confusing me. Okay. Flambells. I'll have to look into the archetypes in Hidden Arsenal. I don't think they're that great to reenact. This is already a great start to this pack opening. Beautiful. Okay, Urbellum's actually not terrible. A level 7 synchro. Generic. So we now have a level 6, 7, and 9 from Hidden Arsenal. We're actually pulling pretty good extra deck stuff. The question is, will we actually have any cards to do it? I wish we had Formula Synchron so bad now. Um, wait, this guy's a tuner. So we at least have a tuner. Well, you control another ice barrier, other monster. High monster. Okay, his effect's not great. He's 1300, but he is a tuner, so he's not the worst. So, okay, that's good. We at least have access to a tuner. Uh, Xaber Arabellum. Okay, he is basically Donza Luke, but better. That's actually not bad for limited. That is actually a solid card. Um, uh, Cryomancer, another tuner. We'll take that. Three <laughs> reenact. Okay, all right. I think we're good on those. That's pretty sick. Flipped target one spell trap. Okay, eh, not great. Uh, Mistworm number two. Okay, continuing to pull decent stuff. Hidden Arsenal. I mean, for fifteen thousand in this two hundred fifty thousand dollar budget, honestly, getting some pretty good cards. I'm not mad about this. Four reenact. I mean, just <laughs> we can't use four, but okay, great. Uh, Flamvel guard. Uh, two K defense. I mean, if this was goat format, that'd probably be really good. Another Urbellum, so we've got at least two of every one we've won. The Flamvel guy, well, let me look at this guy. He's generic six too, actually. So we've got an extra deck, that's for sure. And then a third tuner. Okay, I'm not mad about that. I feel like we did okay on the Hidden Arsenal packs. Okay, what product do we want to open next? Let's do the other Hidden Arsenal. Just, okay, there's a lot of cards in these, in these packs. Okay, flip the cards. Okay, I feel like because this is a newer product, we might actually get some crazy cards like that are just like, They've scaled up and become good over the years compared to what what else we're opening. I'm going to have to, okay, pineapple. I'm going to have to look into that stuff. I don't know. I don't know those stuff, this stuff too well, but poly lava golem. That's not bad. Bamboo shoots. Okay. Maybe Natur Naturia could be a good archetype and we probably have a bunch of them. Wabaku a nice generic trap. I'll take that. Naturia could be pretty decent if we get some cards to go with it. MST, third mistworm, dust tornado, Stratos. If we get elemental heroes, that'd be sick. Okay. Medina the Ice Barrier? I'm not trying Ice Barriers again. I've tried that before. Big mistake. Okay. Neos. There we go. They can go with our Stratos. Um, more Naturia stuff, potentially. Night Assailant, just generically decent. Getting some good pulls out of here. Okay, what else? A two... Okay, I thought that was a 2k attacker. Never mind. Okay, Buster Blader's fun, but not good. More Naturia, more Ice Barrier. The archetypes are not great here, but... Another MST. That's two MST. That's great. Uh, if he has any traps or anything like that, he probably will have some. Wabaku number two. I'll take that. These these hidden arsenal are not too bad. I'm not going to lie. All right. Not not bad openings there. Uh, let's do our couple of raging battle packs. See what we get. Uh, we've got the Simo card, but I don't think we're going to be playing Blackwing. So I don't know how much that's going to help. Next pack is Evil Thorn, Black Whirlwind. I mean, got a couple of good cards. I don't really know if any of those are going to help. We'll have to check afterwards, but doesn't seem that great. Let's add this to our binder. Now let's open Crimson Crisis. Let's see what we get here. Um, Hypersynchron. Trap Reactor, Wi-Fi, Flip Flop Frog. Not seeing anything too crazy. Submarine Frog. The Star Wars card. I'm not seeing a lot on these. Doom Kaiser Dragons, a cool looking card. Alien Overlord. These feel pretty bad. These feel pretty bad out of these tens. I definitely overpaid for these. Um, half or oh, half or nothing's not horrible. Opponent chooses one half the attack of all monsters they currently control in the battle phase. That's not a bad trap card. Okay, so we'll save those. 
Not a lot of great cards in there. Okay, come on, Ancient Prophecy. Can you give us Fossil Dig? We had Dinos, it'd be great. I think Gemini Sparks in here. I don't know if we don't have Neos Alias, so it's not really going to help, but Core Blaster, Jester Con. What does this do exactly? I know it's an expensive super rare. Special Summon for free. Interesting. So he's a free special summon. That's interesting. And then he could return cards potentially. Oh, Armatile, the Chaos Phantom. Or Phantasm, I should say. That could be interesting. Uh, Scary Moth. We want to floodgate this thing. No special summoning. Probably not going to be a lot of that in this episode. And Arm Sea Hunter. He's a generic big guy. I mean, somewhat generic. Okay, not really. Slip of Fortune. Is that good? That's not too bad. I mean, that's that's something you can use. Okay, uh, those are not awesome. So we're, we're saving our big stuff for the end. I think all this could be good. Let's do a uh, turbo pack first. I don't remember what's in here. I think I think that the what's the synchro guy that special summons from the graveyard in Edison. I think he's an ulti in here. So maybe we could get that. Uh, key mace okay oh gosh these are bad end of anubis oh wow that's that's not horrible but the rest are really bad dark hole wait what ban list do we do for this okay dark hole sick gladiator proving ground if we had gladiator beast would be sick okay eh, what kid the monsters in here suck wow they're bad uh dunamis is a generic skull servants that'd be cool if we could get more of those another dark hole um okay <laughs> we just go dark hole just Two of those would be sick. Okay, I was, I was I was talking trash about Black Wings. We now have Sirocco. Wow, that's kind of amazing. We're kind of close. Two King of Skull Servants. I don't think we're going to get any generic ones, though. Three of them. There's Moki Moki. I oh, mean, if we just had regular Skull Servant, it'd be amazing. Okay, White Hole, the combo. Okay, we're going to save that. If we can't use Dark Hole, these were really terrible. I thought they'd be better than that because they're like reprints of like older cards, but it was basically all terrible cards. You say, I can't remember which you say a Stardust as like a super in here, but I hope it's this one. Please give us a Stardust. Oh, graceful revival. If we just had Skull Servant, we'd be cooking. Junk Warrior. Okay, we got a level five Synchro. You have to have Junk Synchron. Let us pull Junk Synchron. Come on, Shield Warrior's not terrible. Turbo Warrior. One Turbo Synchron. Okay, we need a Turbo Synchron. Cards normal summon. You can make its attack become double in 1800. Yay, okay. Uh, Nitro Synchron. He's a tuner. We do have tuner access from this. Defense Draw is not a bad trap card. Um, Turbo Warrior, Quibble Hedgehog, Turbo Booster. Oh my goodness. Defense draw again. That's good. Graceful Revival. If we play level twos, like for Speed Warrior and stuff like that, that could be good. Three defense draws good. Fighting Spirit's not a horrible, horrible equip card. Synchro Summon one, a Synchro Monster. Okay. We, we, we're going to have to build around Synchros. That's for sure. Uh, the problem is we're not getting any really good tuners. Nitro Warrior. We need Nitro Synchron. We do have that. So that's good. Four left. Speed Warrior, Shield Warrior, another Graceful Revival. I think that's three three copies of that. Okay. Um, Natural Warrior again. Uh, oh, Stardust, yes! Super Rare Stardust. Okay, so we have a level eight now. We have almost every level. We have a Stardust Dragon. Okay, good, good, good. So we didn't... We aren't going to regret not getting the 10 too much. That's really good. And... Uh, okay, Tuning Wear. Level two. Okay, interesting. There are some good cards in there. There are some good cards in there. We're going to really need premium gold. Okay, five Ds could come in clutch. I'm going to save that for last because that could have a bunch of tuners. Let's do the gold series 2009 because there's only two packs in here because they're giant packs. Okay, future fusion. We didn't get any Mobius, Dreamboard Frog. Okay, this is sick. Gold Sark, Mind Control. We haven't even scrolled up yet. Snipe Hunter's not bad. Thestalos is in here. Grand Mark, that's three monarchs oh my gosh we have zabor four monarchs wow this is insane a giant true nade compulse oh yeah worth it one pack is better than like all of some of the other ones that's insane couple six samurais as well okay next pack give us something good come on future fusion again ryza we've got another giant true nade We've got all of the Monarchs, basically. That's insane. There's another Thestalos. More Six Samurai, Snipe Hunter, Neos Alias. We didn't get the uh, the guy, though, unfortunately. But okay, this is pretty good. A lot of Monarchs, a lot of Six Samurai, a lot of just decent spell and traps. So unfortunately, Future Fusion is not going to work for us. Okay, that was still worth it, I think. Let's open the next product, which is the Premium Gold. We have, what, nine packs of this. Okay, Gravekeeper Spies in here. Blackwing Armor Master for Midlands. Man, these are so good. If we got more Gravekeepers, Gravekeeper Spy could be really good. Oh, but man, Blackwing. 
Blackwing Dragon, we have everything except just like little black wings. That's it. We have Swords Revealing Light, which is really good, and Solar Recharge. Okay, seven more packs. Solar Recharge, it's good, but it's not relevant here. Uh, Forbidden Lance number two, or Forbidden Chalice. So Forbidden Lance and Forbidden Chalice. And Icarus Attack, if we have any Winged Beasts. Blood's Ultimate, cool, but not relevant. Uh, Gold Rare disappeared. Okay, Exploder Dragon's a good card. Breaker's a great card. Okay. Really nice. Oh, no, there's Stardust and Swords of Revealing Light. Let's go. All right, four packs left. Give us something good. Eclipse Wyvern's not bad. I missed that. Morphing Jar. <laughs> Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Let's see what else we can get. Wing Dragon, Rob Thunder King, Ryo, and Chalice, and Mind Control. Oh, we are cooking right now. We are absolutely cooking. And it looks like, according to Simo, we're going to be doing unlimited. So you can do three copies of everything. So Dark Hole will be allowed, which is cool. A Bottomless Trap Hole. Mizuki, I don't know if we have zombies but bottomless is really good one more pack obelisk <laughs> lone fire plus titanium in the same pack wait we might play that that's insane plus an ancient pixie dragon i don't think that matters but oh wow we we've got some cards these that was definitely worth spending the 80 whatever we spent on that last product please bonus packs be good to us final packs we have seven packs here please give us some good some good uh uh tuners there's a lot of synchros in there um none of those are tuners though um stardust we have three copies of stardust that's wild red nova dragon exploder dragon wing which is another generic one we have glow up ball that's so good that's so good give us more give us more junk synchron yes one for one oh my gosh these are crazy live stream dragon okay that's a common in this set by the way Yes, 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 yes. Glow up bulb again. That's two of those. That's effect Veiler. Effect Veiler. Do we have like every synchro ever made up to this point? Thought Ruler Archfiend, Junk Archer, Vice Dragon. Okay, that's not as good. Thought Ruler Archfiend's not bad. Another one of those. We have Grace for Alive, but we have three of those already. That'll that'll be relevant to our low our low level synchrons. Oh my gosh, I'll fire you. We have so many black wings. Blizzard! Wait, we can almost play black wings. We're just missing a couple. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Speed Warriors in here. Junk Blader. Golden Apples is good. Okay, that was our last pack. Let's save these. Holy, we've got some good stuff. I think we could potentially make a good deck. It, we'll see if we have enough cards to make something amazing. I'm going to get to the deck build. All right. You can't really see it because it's off to the side here, but boy, do we have a lot of packs to open. We've got promo packs from McDonald's. We've got like boxes of Crosswords of Chaos and Raging Battle. And then across all the tins that we got, we have all of these other packs like Phantom Darkness, Light of Destruction, Duelist Genesis. We've got Gold Series 3. We have a lot of packs to open, so let's get cracking. I guess this total amounts to 83 packs that we have to work with and not to mention we do have all of our promos as well so we have stardust dragon we have a Sidra, we have a lot of stuff to work with honestly as soon as i won the stardust tin my whole plan was to build and take cards that are going to allow us to make stardust because i think stardust in sealed is really hard to out and so if we can get a little bit lucky with some of these pulls honestly the packs we picked sort of lend themselves to give us plenty of synchro fodder but let's see what we can get we're starting with the mcdonald's packs which honestly we're probably not going to play anything these cards so let's start flipping them up it's going to give us some monsters to work with but i don't think we're going to play any of this we could consider dark piercing light that is a hollow it is a way to potentially like preemptively flip stuff face up but this is going to be like this would be one of the last cards we play if anything we did get goddess of whim that's also very funny unfortunately it's a ratted so we can't go crazy with it but i mean it's fine we're probably not going to play it there's probably better stuff all right so that was all we got out of the mcdonald's packs the rest was just a bunch of vanillas that have mediocre stats we're going to have plenty of other good stuff to open here looks like next up we have phantom darkness Samsara Lotus could be okay, but looking at the rest of this, I don't really think we're going to play any of this unless we absolutely have to. I think we have a couple packs of this. Future Samurai is okay. It, the game is slow enough. We could consider playing this just because it is a card that can actually destroy stuff. But aside from that, I don't really think we got much else to work with. Dark Illusion's not bad if we have enough darks. Obsidian Dragon's a 2100 point defender, so that actually could be kind of relevant. Blue Thunder T45 isn't terrible for sealed either. And uh, Castle Gate is very funny for anyone who remembers a uh, sealed showdown. I remember how much of a menace this card was. I think we're probably gonna have too good of cards for this to be playable, but it's a fun throwback, if anything. I think that's it for the Phantom Darkness, though. Next up is two Light of Destruction, and we got a Celestia. Unfortunately, Celestia is not good when we don't have other Light Sworns to pair it with. Dark Valkyrie is not bad, though. It's kind of like a better future Samurai. Honestly, we might play that. That card could actually carry us. Destruction Jammer also isn't terrible. There could be enough removal that that could be useful, but I think there are better cards. And now this is what we're here for, the Duelist Genesis. 
if we can get plenty of uh, just tuners and synchro fodder to go into our Stardust, that's what we want. That's why I went so heavily in on Crosswords of Chaos as well as Raging Battle, because I think between the 48 packs there, we should have enough. Let's see what we get in Duelist Genesis. Uh, Intercept is a very funny card. Uh, Jute Fighter is a tuner, so that's pretty good. Destructutron's not bad. Not bad. I mean, Battle, there's some decent stuff in here. I think Intercept might be a bit too situational, though. Oh my god, we got a Krebons. Yes, that's like one of the best cards we could have pulled from here. It's a common. Telepathic Power also isn't bad. It's like Sakuretsu for Psychic Monsters specifically. So like, that's pretty decent if we play enough Psychics, but I'm not sure if it's really worth it. We did get some Dr. Craniums, though, to search our Krebons, so that might be worth it. All right, 24 packs of Crosswords of Chaos. This is where this can get really out of hand, depending on how well these pulls go for us. So let's get to it. First pack, uh, looks like we got Copy Plant, which is a decent tuner. We've got some plant stuff. Uh, card Rotator's not the worst. I think we can, I think we can definitely make this work. This is like the Morphtronic pack. There's like four, or I don't know, five Morphtronic cards in here. That's kind of crazy. Botanical Lion is a sick pull. That's a really, really good card. And Gozen matches in here as well. Gigantic Cephalotus also is nothing to scoff at. That's a big beater. Botanical Girl can also search a lot of these plants. So we have like Nettles, which is a tuner. Cactus Fighter is also pretty decent as well. Like, so we can have like some decent Synchro Fodder. This is exactly what we were looking for. Oh my God, we had an ulti Revived King. We need Plagues better to play it though. So I don't think we're actually gonna, unless we get Plague, we could still get Plague. Comrade Swordsman of Landstar is not bad. Cursed Fig is also okay too. I, I don't know how much spell and trap removal we have, but that's just a decent card. Tiger Dragon is also pretty decent too. It's like bad Mobius. So like that could be worth playing, honestly. Psychic Jumper is also a decent tuner. It has like a weird effect if we have psychics, but if we need tuners just to get into Stardust, we could consider it. That's our third Cactus Fighter. That's not bad just for getting a giant guy. And Raime is our super, unfortunately not particularly good. Oh my God, we just pulled a Miracle Fertilizer. We can have just a crazy deck now if we have enough plants. I mean, between the Botanical Girls, the Cephalotuses, the Cactus Fighters, Miracle Fertilizer, we're getting a really sick deck that we can build. And Rose, Warrior of Revenge, she's like one of the best tuners because she's level four, especially since we're trying to go into Stardust. That's a sick pull. If we do pull Wall of Thorns, that could also be a really good card because that's Mirror Force for plants. So if we go in on enough plant support, that could be worth it for us. Night End Sorcerer is another tuner. I will have to consider it. And Iron Chain's a generic synchro. That's, uh, that's fantastic because if we can't get into Stardust, making a six is not hard at all. Oh, and we got the double synchro in this pack. Psychic Life Transfer, another good generic synchro, and Doom Kaiser Dragon. Again, we have Hades and Doom Kaiser and no Plague Spreader. So hopefully we can get a Plague Spreader. That'd be really cool. Kawaki Meru Drago, but one for one as well. What a sick pack. And Trap Stun. Like, there's a lot going on here. Oh, I just realized we're in Raging Battle. I'm like, I haven't seen any of these cards before, but Raging Battle is equally as good as Crosswords of Chaos because there's plenty of good synchro support. Uh, the Black Wings, notably, are in here. And Shura is just a house in Sealed. And Kalut is in here as well well. So there's a lot of just really strong cards that we can get out of here. And honestly, that could be enough to carry us. Speak of the devil, there is Shura. It doesn't really have synergy with our plants, but it is good enough in and of itself. And Scopin isn't a terrible card either. Already on two Shura, I'd be surprised if we didn't get three, considering we get to open a whole box of this. Quakimir Guardian isn't terrible either. Like there's just good stuff in here. Delta Crow Anti-Reverse. We also have Trap Stun. Trap Stun just really strong because we can just play through basically anything Ruxin might have to stop us. So that'll probably go in. There's our first Kalut, happy to see it. Uh, Hedgeguard's also a plant if we do still want to play on the plant synergy. And there's Blizzard, man, we can just make one card synchros with Blizzard and Whirlwind, it's so over, Phil, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, double blizzard. That's our third whirlwind too. We're just going to be playing Blackwing at this point. Like we don't have to play anything else. Unfortunately, these are the only cards that are in here. It's Kalut, Blizzard, Shura, and Whirlwind because Gale, Bora, and Sirocco are from Crimson Crisis, I believe. So we don't get to make a full Blackwing deck, but honestly, this is going to be good enough. I'm not concerned. And we got an arm doing. Oh my God, this is so broken. <laughs> We got a second arm weight and we got Snowman Eater at rare. That's just a fantastic card. That's definitely going in. So that's it for Raging Battle. Next up is Gold Series 3. If you forget, this is a Gold Series where they did one pack of 25 cards. I'm really hoping this is one of the good ones. I know a lot of the cards in here are good, but there were definitely versions of this that were better than others. And there's one I'm thinking about and I'm really hoping it's not this one. Flip them up. Oh, I don't think it is. Bora's in here. Oh my God. Yes, yes. We get to play Blackwing. It's so over. Blizzard as well. I think we're already good on Blizzards though, but but I'm not going to complain. We're going to play it anyway. Uh, Magical Arm Shield's fine. We have Whirlwind. I don't think we're playing Destiny Draw. Goblin Zombie's a decent card. Gale's in here too. Oh my God, it's so over. <laughs> 
Please get us another good pack. Give us another Bora, please. Please give me another Bora. I, I think we're good on Blizzard, so unfortunate there. Bora, yes! The commons in Gold Series are almost basically guaranteed, so I think we should basically get three Boras. So it can only go up from here. We already have Kalu. MST is huge, and so is Enemy Controller. We're going to be bringing a constructed deck to Auction Series today. This is going to be unbelievable. Last Gold Series. Show me the Bora. There it is, and Sirocco. So I guess we, we weren't guaranteed. I would have liked to get Sirocco, but it is what it is. Uh, anything else crazy? Another Arnwing. Ryo's in saying Judgment Dragon would be good if we had Light Sworn, but we do not. I couldn't be happier. We still have a few more packs to open, but our deck is already basically unbeatable. There's no way we lose this. We just pulled Ring of Destruction out of like our one Pharaonic Guardian pack. Are you kidding me? So we have a few of these random one-off packs for the tins for uh, the at the end of auction series for the, the 2004 tin, the 2006 tin, whatever. And we just nabbed a one pack Ring of Destruction. You have to be kidding me. Yomi Ship's also not bad either, but I don't even think we need it because we're playing Blackwing. An old Vindictive and Adhesion Trap Hole. That's like a decent... The one thing I think we're lacking is like good removal. We don't really have a ton of that, but we probably can make it up in other areas because our deck is just so good that it may not matter. A Sakuretsu Armor. Well, there we go. Ask for removal and we shall get it, I suppose. Smashing Ground. We have like one pack of Invasion of Chaos and we got Smashing Ground. This is like the best auction series of all time. There, there's no shot. Phil wins this. If I can pull a second Sydra out of like one of these two Cybernetic Revolution packs, it's just actually over. Okay, we can't get that lucky, unfortunately, but we still got a few more packs to go through. I don't think there's gonna be anything too crazy in these. I could be wrong. It doesn't look like it. These GX packs, we were really struggling here. If we needed some beaters, I guess we'd have some stuff to work with. Let's open the last one. It's Enemy of Justice. Don't think... <laughs> It's so over. <laughs> All right, guys, we put together a deck for what we pulled out of the auction series packs. So overall, I feel like we ended up pretty good. I was a little nervous on what we won at the auction. I was like, I don't know if we got the best packs, but it turns out, but it turns out they weren't too bad. We were able to build sort of a Edison sort of pile. It's a bunch of random piles, the wrong word, because that's like an actual deck, but it's basically like a mix of like, we've got a little elemental hero package in here with Stratos. We've got a little rise up plus treeborn package in here. We've got a little glow up bowl package where we're able to synchro summon using all our different stuff we've got lone fire plus titanium so we've got like little two card combos we've got a bunch of uh, tuners in here stuff we can make synchros with our extra deck is absolutely insane we have so many good cards if we can land the right cards to end up synchroing into the good stuff so overall i mean we have some pretty amazing stuff like two dark hole we're doing unlimited formats so you can use three of everything we have swords revealing light which would, would be really nice you know draw three basically if it doesn't have spell trap removal mind control to get synchros going we've got the more back row removal there grab any card we want one for one to go into our glow up bulb two mystical space type we got Chalice, we've got Lance, we got Wabakus, Bottomless, Capulse. I mean, we've got pretty good stuff. Graceful Revival to bring back all our level twos and lower so we can do more synchro plays. So overall, I think we'll be able to make some synchro cards and we'll see if they're good enough to beat whatever Simo pulled out of his packs. I'm sorry, auction fans. There is zero chance Ruxin wins this. This has to maybe be the best deck I've ever created in auction series, and it somehow just all came together. We have basically a constructed Blackwing deck with some other outliers, right? But we had to fill in the slots somewhere. We can't play everything insane. So we pretty much just put in bad cards like Vindictive, Yomi Ship, Snow... Uh, Snowmaner is not a bad card, but just other like removal cards. Like we were kind of light on removal. So I'm even playing Needle Wall, which is very sus. But, you know, if he goes wide, this card actually can potentially pop something, so I guess we'll take it. And so we're playing in Trap Stun, which we got plenty of. I think this is out of Raging Battle. This is just nice because we are playing a very aggressive deck, so any removal he would have, we can just stop it dead in its tracks. And honestly, that's probably good enough. But I can't believe we got, like, Icarus Attack, Smashing Ground, Ring of Destruction. Like, the way this deck just came together is insane. This has to be one of the craziest, like, sealed decks I've ever built. So let's see if it's good enough. All right, guys, we have our decks built. And uh, it's the last auction series ever, so enjoy. Last it. one. Because, I mean, it's the last. I it's swear, swear it's going to be the so. last one. It's the last <laughs> it's one. Definitely, it's definitely going to be the last one. All right, Simo. Uh, how you? How'd your deck go? How'd your deck go? I will let you know right now. I think my deck is insane. I think my my strategy paid off, and I think you are in for a world of hurt. However, I learned that you have like 60 URs in your deck, so I'm curious to see how this is going to play out on your end. How are you feeling? Well, that sucks because I had to dismantle like four or five of my meta decks for Master Duel <laughs> just to be able to make this deck. Um, <laughs> goodbye, uh, Branded. Goodbye, Math Mech. Goodbye. All the decks um, you won YCSs with, right? 
all yeah exactly i deleted <laughs> all of the cards out of there just so i could craft this deck so yeah so hopefully it pays off if i lose with this then it was completely not worth it so let's get started best of three i guess we're gonna do sounds good to like me. usual sounds good to me the final time right. for the final time and uh, are we getting a card in this or not Ooh, good question <laughs> you call it well you well, uh, I guess we'll do card. Let's do card. Okay, so I will go second in that case. Yeah. So you can pass it over to me. That's probably I don't remember. a mistake. Yeah, it's been so long since we filmed this. It's like, I don't remember the rules that we played by. It's so funny. I know. I, I've played too many other things now, So and you've played a lot more than too many other Ooh, things. So that is a nice opening hand. Throw that turn back <sighs> around over here. I am not excited to hear that. I'm not excited to hear that. There are ways this hand could be better. Let's see if we can draw them. That's not bad. That's not bad indeed. All right, I'll start it easy for you. Let's run out Thunder King Ryo. I've got some URs awesome. myself. Great. And I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. <laughs> that sucks. That is a good card. That is okay. a good card. It's a very strong card. Yeah, that's a really good card. Okay. I don't know if he's going to stop a lot of searching, but, you know, he's a, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. Yeah, he's very big. Um, Because of that, I'm going to play it a little, a little safe here. Okay. And uh, you didn't you didn't pick up a heavy storm, did you? Yeah, maybe. Guess you'll have to find out. All right, passing the turn. Well, I guess we should start having some fun. Do you like fun, Ruxin? Oh, I think no. you like having fun. I'm gonna activate this needle wall. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're playing needle wall. All right. The sealed <laughs> showdown <laughs> special. Here we go. All right. Let's enter the Where'd standby phase from? and see just how lucky we can get with this. Oh, you got this from obnoxious. You got this from the obnoxious Celtic Guardian tin Ferronic Guardian pack. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh! What pack you got this? All right. Um. Oh, thank goodness you didn't I, hit. That'd I, been I really want to continue pushing here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like my hand is aligned to do so. So I think we'll just go to battle. Let's see what we're working with here. Let's poke. Okay. Exploder Dragon. Yeah! Okay. Goodbye, Thunder King Ryo. He's out of here. Uh, I'll go second main. I guess I'll just throw another one down and throw it back to you. I'm really annoyed that you have a needle wall on the field that I got to think about the whole time. <laughs> the best part is it could be the best card or the worst card. We'll find out. <laughs> yep, that could definitely happen. Um, what do I want to do here? Um... <laughs> It seems pretty bad, but, you know, you're probably not going to try to stop this thing. Quill Bolt Hedgehog. That is fine. Yeah, yeah. You're scared of this? 800 attack? I will take the 800. I am totally okay with that. Because my Needle Wall is going to take it out. Just you wait. I'm not worried about your Needle Wall. It's not going to touch me. Oh, man. That is... This is... Yeah, okay. All right. Let's just keep it going. I, look, I'm ahead on life points right now. You are. So you're winning. You're going to call it here? Yep, I win. Funny. Let's just end the, end, the, end the episode. Come on, Needle Wall. Come on. Ooh, I guess okay. next time. Okay. I guess next time. Well, yep, yep. we do have quite a powerful card. You know this from my tin, the Cyber oh. Dragon. Oh, that sucks if I didn't have Bottomless Trapple. Ooh. <laughs> I think I didn't have a plan for your Bottomless Trapple because, Ruxin, let me introduce you to the card that is going to set the tone for this episode. I Great. normal summon Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you to the Gold Series for giving me my lovely oh. black wings. I really appreciate it. I'll pass well, it Well, I got to gotta tell you, I actually pulled one myself. I'm just saying. Ooh, did you? Uh, Blackwing okay. Sirocco. You'll have to find out if I'm playing it or not, but... <laughs> Oh, uh, that, that's a big guy. Yeah, that's pretty large. Um, ooh, uh, what am I going to do about that? Got to figure out what we're going to do about your guy. You know, he's 2K. You've got a back row, which is annoying. Well, let's just try my Junk Synchron. Ooh, okay. And activate the effect of my Junk Synchron. Sure. Um, yeah, you going to do anything about that? Do you have the Junk Warrior? That's the question. This is fine. Do I have the Junk Warrior? I guess we're going to find out. Do you have something he for does. the Junk Warrior is I the question. I not. Junk Warrior in attack position. Um, Yeah, that's... Yeah, here we go. We got 2,300. Let's see what you have. We're going to go to battle. Do you? Are you playing battle traps? 
That's the question. Oh, foolish Ruxin, foolish Ruxin. Do you know why? Do you know why I paid so much money for those raging battle packs? <clears throat> um, let me think. Forbidden Chalice. Damage step. Oh, uh, that. I actually pulled one of these as well. <laughs> <laughs> so I get halved? Is that what happens? No, I gain 14, so I go to 34. Okay, you go to 34? Okay, well, yeah, that, not much we can do about that. Yep, there he is. The best card in the deck. <laughs> All right, let's... Uh, the best card let's, in the deck. Let's... let's uh, Okay, you're you're not you're only for this for one turn, so you're gonna be two K next turn. Yeah, I'll be back to two K. Alright. Um you got another card. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Alright, I have to roll for my mandatory needle wall when you have no cards on the field. So that's yep, fine. roll for it. Oh it actually doesn't Good even it doesn't even roll because you don't have monsters. Oh that's, nice. That's funny. Nice, that's nice. Funny. Good. Thank you, Master Dole, for that. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I could keep up the pressure here. You still have a back row. Yeah, let's bring out another one. Shura, join the field. Yeah. You have a lot of monsters. I'm not a fan of this. See what you got. We're taking a lot of damage. That's the idea. Okay, a lot of damage. Not a fan of that. And you know what? I'll just uh, I'll just throw another one down for you. I'll make your life even harder. You've got so much back row. I'm Go not ahead. a fan of this. Go ahead. Not a fan of this. Okay, let's see. Ooh. It's a nice card. It's a nice card. You have so many cards, though. Any? They could be doing anything. They could be. What are we going to do about them? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try a little bit of this. Mind control. Oh, that's a good card. What are you going to do with it, though? That's fine. Sure. Okay, I would like to take that. I would also like to normal summon my glow up bowl. Ooh. That's pretty damn good. Would you like to do anything? Mm, fortunately not. I think this rides. Okay. Back the Quill Bolt. I'll bring back Quill Bolt. Okay, now we need to figure out what we are going to do. Because you have a lot of potential sets there. Last time when I attacked, you used a hand trap. So does that mean you don't have any back row? Well, you only had one of these set before. So it could be a new one, or I'm trying to think like what you could even have with the packs you got. You did get some gold, so there could be some crazy stuff in there. I need to think about what I want to go into. Bulb is a sick pull though. Bulb is a very sick pull. I think the best could do that and be super safe, but it doesn't end up being that safe actually. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Let's make our super shiny Stardust Dragon. You have a royal Stardust? That's sick. Yeah. Okay. I think it was a giveaway or something at some point. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's how I got it. Okay. The question, though, the problem here is, though, we're still not necessarily out of the clear here. How perceptive. Because you have two traps here. And if I just sit here, you could needle wall me, which would be really annoying. Well, Stardust so could stop the needle wall, to be fair. Well, he could go away, but then I'm off the field. So it's like a little bit awkward. All right. Let's see what you have set back there. Well, I may as well do this now. So I'm going to activate Delta Crow Anti-Reverse. I'll face down spell traps your opponent controls. Yeah, you're wondering if I had Heavy Storm. What in the world? Yeah, Black Wings <laughs> okay. have their own Heavy Storm. You didn't know that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Actually, know. I Tarpy know this card, I just never it's, read it. It's Isn't crazy. This in one of the, I think it's in one of the Duelist packs. This is super rare, too. Um, I could stop this, but I think I'm not going to. Graceful Revival. Okay, that could have saved you, potentially. Yeah, I mean, it's a good card. It's a good card. I'm not, not happy about not having it. Okay. So now, okay, I've gotten rid of that. That's good news. The bad news is you got rid of my set card. Oh, he yeah, has another one. So I'm just gonna set one and go. We're getting we're getting down to, to old school Yu-Gi-Oh with these three cards each over here. That if you hit me are. with needle wall, I'm gonna be upset. I'm just saying. 
It's funny because you can stop this if you want to gamble. <laughs> <laughs> That's technically true. But we just have to roll. We got to get lucky. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. <laughs> this is a one of in your deck too, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to normal summon Blizzard and activate the effect. This is a one-off in your deck, isn't it? I'm so sorry. This Not is really. this is messed up. <laughs> oh my god! That's this is just messed up, man. You have man. a failer, though. Okay, all right. This We're is not just messed up, man. Yeah, that, <laughs> that is wrong. Twenty percent, baby. Twenty percent, uh, baby. I can't be mad. I use this in another episode, so. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, Blizzard, get in. You had Valor, Look, though. That's not... pretty nice. I think that was from the Yusei packs, wasn't it? Um, No, I think it was gold. Gold series. It was series. gold? Oh, okay. That's yeah, pretty good, too. Yeah, it was too. gold series. Yeah. It was in a pack with, like, four good cards. <laughs> maybe, it's like... a, maybe it's a later Yusei pack. So I remember in Prague, we were happy to open one of the Duelist packs for once. And I think because Valor came in as a reprint. Yeah, I think because he has three packs. Yeah. So well, that I, doesn't I only help. got the first one. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I have good news for you. I'm going to <laughs> surrender this game. <laughs> Dang it, I would have been a good spot with Stardust. Oh, man. All right, all right. Game two is going to be better here, okay? Game two is going to be better. <laughs> would you like to You're not getting me to wall this time? game. <laughs> yeah, didn't you? You put that down turn one, didn't you? I did, I did. Okay, so I will <laughs> go first. I imagine you want the first card. Yes, I do, please. Oh, my God. That is going to be one oh. for the ages right there. Oh, I put it in a different slot. I always put it in three. I put it in four, you and then did? of course it yep. hits four. It didn't hit three the entire time. Oh my goodness, brutal! All right, I will just throw the turn around to you, so you can kick things off. Okay, this is pretty decent. You think by now Master Duel would have uh, added the ability to let you just draw for turn, but small yeah, indie you, company. You think so? Small but... indie company. <laughs> uh, let's just you know. Because we can't draw first for turn, you know, I'll make up for that with a one for one. Ooh, I'm gonna send my Quibble Hedgehog to the graveyard. Oh, look at the combos. Okay. Yeah, let me do, let me just combo off real quick. Starting us off with the bulb. Um, you know, I could. We could just go. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just do this right off the bat. Okay. What are we normaling? Yeah. My Neos alias. Yeah, that's not eight. I'm good at math. All right, here we go. Set one. I imagine you have a seven. No, you're just leaving everything out. Do you not have a seven? Interesting. I guess you'll find out. Ooh, that's pretty damn good. Okay, what did I see out of you the first game? I saw bottomless out of you. Maybe. Uh huh. Let's go normal dark Valkyria. Oh. Okay, it's just a normal we right now. We got some Gemini action. It. We got okay. some Gemini action here. He's kind of small, though. I'll go battle. Uh, let's go into your bulb, I think. I don't know. Who do you want to go into? Yeah, we'll go into the bulb. That went through. Okay, interesting. I okay. was not expecting to get that far. I'll be honest. Uh, I nice. will set two. Setting cards, huh? I hear back row is good, Ruxin. I hear back row is good. Mm -hmm. That's That's what they say. Oh, man. Oh, this made my decision so hard. Oh, uh, what do we do here? You got back row. They they did. Okay, you didn't have any battle traps last game, but you did. Okay, you had Kalu, but that doesn't work with Dark Valkyria. Unfortunately. Thankfully. She has wings. Um, Does that count? You know what? I'm going to let, let's do this. Let's figure out what you have. Ooh, what are we going for? Rise. Uh, uh oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah, we're spinning the monster. We'll find out what the back row is. Mm, sure. He didn't pull Mirror Force, so I'm not worried about that. How do you know I didn't pull Mirror Force? You don't know my deck. I just have a good feeling that okay. you didn't. <laughs> Analyzed every set that I open. I feel good. I feel good that you didn't pull it. This is fine. Okay. So, okay, we're getting more damage than last time. No it's respect start. for Gores. Attacking with Ryza first. I'm not worried about your Gores. You don't have Gores. Okay, um, you know, I'm fine with this. I feel good about you being on 3,700. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> it's 
a one of. You know, you put a, a Neos alias in that spot for once. That could be your downfall. You better look out. Look, if it's Neos alias, then I'm not as mad. If it's Ryza, I'm pretty upset. I could be drawing literally anything here. Yeah, you could be. Come on, Needle Wall. Come on, okay, Needle Wall. Two, three, five, two, three, five, two, three, Come five. On, Come on, Needle Wall. Yeah! The cursed spot. It's fine. Steal his alias. We don't care about him. You know you are never going to put anything there ever again. <laughs> I'm not putting anything in four. Even though I should double down, he's not going to roll four You still again. have two. Uh, we'll run out Shura. Okay. I think it go, huh? Okay. Uh, battle. Oh, you have the... Do I? You have the You have the uh, the damage step. I could be blocking. You sure is a special summon one from your deck. Great. Awesome. All right. Yep. I got it. Okay. That seems worth. And I will activate my Shura. Thank you very much. That seems pretty worth. Who do we want? I actually have targets for this, which is cool. Um, Not a ton I could do. You still have a back row. Uh, we'll get Gale. Why not? Not using that back row. Interesting. All right. So it's not bottomless. It is something reactive, it seems like. I wonder what it could be. We'll what go second main. Uh, let's go ahead and synchro up. Okay. Psychic Life Transfer. Pretty large. Eh, she doesn't do a ton. She's just a, uh, a body. And I think with that, I will pass my turn. Go ahead. Let's see what we can get. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's get rid of this. Going after my other back row. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll chain it. Okay. Sure. You can see I was prepared in case you did have the bottomless. You were prepared. MST is mm. a good pull though. Yeah, pretty good card. It's a 2400 monster you have there. Our decks actually play. seem pretty good for what it's worth. Like, I mean, yeah, like your yeah. card quality is also pretty good. <laughs> Compared to like what we used to get, yeah, which is just Usually crap. these episodes are just <laughs> awful. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't really like this, this thing. Are you going to get rid of the needle? <laughs> I'm not dealing with this guy anymore. <laughs> He's negated for one turn, but it doesn't really affect him. Um, what else do we want to do? I think that's it, all we're going to do for this turn. You know what? For fun, Ruxin, I have a die right here. I'm just going to roll it just to see uh, if it would have been a three. <laughs> it would have been a two. It's a four. It would have been a two. Okay, I would have been safe. Good, 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 good. You played around it. Okay, okay. Uh, where does that back go? It's reactive. I think it's a battle trap. Could be like right Geki Break or something. <laughs> hmm. Just be like any other chainable too. We'll find out. I'll bring up Valkyria. Okay. Let's go Valkyria into Breaker. Sure. Went through. Life transfer direct. Sure. That also went through. Interesting. I will set a card face down. All right, heart of the cards. Draw me something cool. Well, you do still have glow up bulb too. Golly, that's the worst card in my deck. <laughs> um, we love to hear that. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna glow up bulb. Okay. You could mill something crazy here. That, that's crazy. Golly. That's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy bad for me. <laughs> oh, we're just walling up. Okay. <laughs> like to see that. We got a bunch of great stuff right now. All right. Ooh, that's not bad. All right, can we end the game? Probably. All right, we're going to start by... Depends on what the set is, to be honest. I think we go for it. Uh, Blizzard. Blizzard. Try to get back. Sure. Uh, you can have Valor, though. You do not have Valor. No, I drew the worst card in my deck, so don't worry. It wasn't Valor <laughs> in that case. Uh, we will... Which is actually not the worst if I in different situations, but right now it's the worst card. <laughs> Bring out Armed Wing. Okay. And I guess we just try for it. Armed Wing's getting in for a lot of damage here. Ow! Uh, we'll go Life Transfer in case it's a big defender. 
It's air bellum. Oh, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> All right, we can finally activate this card. I don't think it does anything here. <laughs> I had a plan all along. Trap stun. Oh my goodness. You had the you had all these big guys. I have like two big guys on my whole deck. <laughs> well, and I drew like I drew graceful revival every game. I didn't get any decent traps, so it's unreal. To be honest with you, I basically have a nearly constructed black wing deck. So <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, pretty like, good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty tough. I didn't see any, like, it was just all, like, MST, Graceful Revival. I only have two Graceful Revival. Send me a games. screenshot of your deck. Let me, so I can see. Okay. Yeah, that's... look how many URs I have, by the way. That is insane. You have so <laughs> many URs. No wonder you were struggling. Yeah, especially because you have, like, um, double bulb and stuff. Yeah, I like how you had one Valor. That's really funny. I have two Dark Hole. Where were those? Dark, see, Dark Hole the whole game. Yeah. yeah, Dark Hole, I had Kapulse, I had uh, Wabaku's fine. You had some uh, decent Phoenix stuff, Wind actually. Blast. Like, Lone Fire I mean, for Titanial is crazy, too. I, yeah, I drew Titanial, by the way. Oh, that, that was the sucks. last card I yeah. drew. Yeah. <laughs> so, I Treeborn, you know, for the Monarch. Uh, it just, yeah, it just didn't work out. I wasn't drawing the right Oh, my God, right your combos. extra deck. It's so many you are. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I, the, when I first told you I had to do a bunch of URs, I was doing the main deck and I was like, oh, wait, I forgot the extra deck. And it's all URs. Oh, so I was my like, God. oh, crap. Oh, my God. So I had to like, make so many of these. I was like, this is brutal. That's insane. Yeah, this was not worth the 500 UR dust. That Probably I just not. Spent. Probably not. But it's for it's for yeah. 250. It's for 250. True. It was it was all about the auction anyway. The duels don't matter. Now. You just ended my six game win streak on my channel though. You're so welcome. I'm very sad. You're welcome. I didn't put a very good performance well, there. Well, do you I'm see how insane my deck is? Yes, I see how insane it is. <laughs> Freaking stupid. <laughs> it, so the reason I wanted Raging Battle so bad was because it had Shura plus Kalut plus Whirlwind. And I'm like, that in and of it, and they're all common. So like that in and of itself is probably enough just to be worth spending so much on. Yeah. Oh, and Blizzard. I'm sorry, and Blizzard. And then in the Gold Series, Gold Series had Sirocco as well, or uh, Sirocco and right. Bora and Gale. So I only got one Sirocco, even though it was a common, but that basically like yeah. literally just gave me Blackwing. Well, and I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> Because I I would have had a full Blackwing deck too if I had got won the Raging Battle because I had all the other cards. Oh, did you? So if, okay. Yeah. So if I had won that and gotten those ones you just mentioned that were in Raging Battle and multiples, I could have played Blackwing. So that's hilarious that it turned out to be like Blackwing was what we were fighting over for like Raging Battle. We're like, is Raging Battle that you know? I was kind of like, yeah. is Raging Battle that good? But I was like, I kind of need it. Yeah. And it's like, yes, it was that. It good. was that Incredible. good. No, looking at this, I think it was worth me spending like that insane amount on it. Um, and then, like, I had to fill in the slots. My random one-off packs were so funny. You were laughing at Needlewall. I pulled Ring of Destruction in that same one for on a Guardian oh pack. So I'm like, God. great. The one Enemy of Justice pack, I pulled an Icarus attack for the Blackwing deck. I'm like, that fantastic. For the one Dark Crisis pack, I pulled a Sakuretsu armor. For the one uh, Invasion of Chaos pack, I pulled Smashing Ground. So, like, literally, in it, it just, like, all came together. And then I just had to fill in the random last slots that I had with, like, other filler crap so that's like i didn't have a ton of removal so i brought trap stun in just to stop your removal potentially uh and then just other random stuff like old vindictive and yomi ship just to like out random stuff you might have that was basically my plan that's but, insane yeah because yeah. on mine where i had like the 10 packs i had like four i think a two raging battle four ancient prophecy four something else mm. i pulled like zero good cards out of those wow so it was like they all just wow. like, I, I pulled a I pulled a couple black wing cards out of raging battle i'm like well i can't use these because i only have like six black wing cards right. but right yeah it, but if i if i had, had like all those other ones it would have helped but uh that that's just crazy and it's snow wait where's snowman eater from snowman eater is also raging battle <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a yeah, rare. It's a rare. That's a rare. right. Yep. Yeah, yep. dude. Oh, man, that was, that was definitely the best The best set. My best stuff was definitely out of gold series. The the hidden arsenal was actually insane. I pulled four Brio. I, I noticed. I, I saw your extra deck. I'm like, well, apparently he got the Brio. <laughs> that wasn't yeah, I pulled an issue. The, the Herbellums. I put two of those. I pulled two uh, Naturia Beasts. Like, I pulled a lot of good stuff. The the pr the problem that you run into is like the fives are kind of hard to make because like the Naturia is yeah. like two Earths. Yep. The junk has to have junk synchron. Pretty much so you it's need like, it's like Brio or Bust in Hidden Arsenal. That's why like I didn't really care about it that much.
Yeah, yeah, it was pretty rough. I think Arbellum, uh, Arbell, Arbellum, 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 Arbellum is the, the normal summon. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, card's so fine he, too. But you just have to have like an open board for it to be really good. Otherwise, like its stats yeah. are so much inferior. Like I'm looking at my deck. Everything in my deck basically like beats Arbellum. <laughs> That's the problem. Like I kind of have a balance of like lower guys and bigger guys, and right. you are just big guys. Like yeah, or they no, can bring like, out another guy. Well, so. especially because they all synergize together too. Like and triple whirlwind. Like if if I even got that online, like it was just over. Like everything I have just. Yeah. trades into your stuff at that point that's what i mean like this is like literally like a constructed level deck aside from like a couple outliers you having the uh shura plus uh Kalut in your hand yep. just to get the effect off and yep. destroy my ryza was like huge yep. like if you had not had that it would have been a lot better shape for me because i could mm -hmm. you couldn't have actually used the effect and obviously i'd still have ryza so like that was a big swing exactly. and i was like oh crap yeah. i'm yeah, completely I, screwed now i didn't have armor master to sink into which is like typically what you do but i mean just having yeah. a seven so the blizzard is set up for the following turn too was because i just didn't want my sure to get bottomless otherwise blizzard just becomes infinitely worse yeah i mean yeah. then i got the delta crow too to be the heavy or the harpy's feather duster for your back row like it was so yeah. crazy how well this deck came together i the before yeah, i got all the blackwing stuff there i was gonna build like this like plant synchro deck to make like stardust and then i got all the blackwing stuff i'm like oh screw that <laughs> yeah that's kind of what i did so then i'm like okay well it, it, it works if I can stay alive, but if yeah. I don't have anything to keep my guys alive, it's kind of kind of rough. Needle so. wall came in clutch, though. We got the moment. That's all. Yeah, I that that did suck because like <laughs> you took out my level four too, which was annoying. I to was be like, fair, you had to gamble. If you didn't and uh, you destroyed needle wall, I I killed you anyway. So I think it was right. right. I, I think in that case, you always you hope it misses and that you just got unlucky. That that's what that came down to. Needle wall yeah, so the fun. The Stardust for Pop was brutal. Like. Oh man, yeah. There, I mean, that's part of it, you know. <laughs> yep, that's the game. That's the, the game. noodle wall, baby. Uh, I've won with it. Now I've lost with it, so it's only fair. All right. Well, this was a good time, Simo. Thank you for rejoining us for the last and final auction series. Thank you. Happy two fifty. Glad to be a part of it. This was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody. Go check out Simo if you haven't already. Go back and watch the best series of all time from twenty twenty one auction <laughs> series, and you will see much worse sex than this, and probably much worse oh, absolutely. play. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. probably about the same for me. So see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Peace. Shout out to Tone Fosho, Ernesto Deanda, America Deutscher, Brandon Cheney, Ian Moosey, Junior Barding, Robert F. and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.